Hello, what's up? So thank you for your support. So if you guys didn't know, there was an Apple event last night called Apple Event Unleashed, which was basically the event for the next gen M1 MacBook Pros, which I'll be talking about in this video. So let's get started. Hi friends, welcome. Hello there, how are you doing? So thank you for support. So first let's talk about the small little announcement which they made which includes a new plan in Apple Music which allows you to search for songs and playlists using Siri and you have to pay rupees 50 per month for accessing this plan along with the other individual and the family plans. And then there was a new announcement for the HomePod Mini which is nothing but three new colors which is the uh, blue, yellow and orange. That's literally it with the small announcements. Now if you get into the redesigned stuffs which started with the AirPods 3. According to me, it's nothing but a collaboration with the AirPods Pro stem with the uh, pressure sensor stem with the uh, AirPods earpiece. With the new case which supports MagSafe and wireless charging has got a new redesigned driver which improves the base of the AirPods and that's literally it with the AirPods 3. Now let's talk about the big elephant in the room. The new next gen M1 chips which are called the M1 Pro and the M1 Max. The M1 Pro has a memory bandwidth of 200 GB per second and now supports up to 32 gigs of LPDDR5 memory. Has got two times more transistors as the M1 10 CPU cores, 8 high performance and 2 low performance cores, which is 70 times faster than the previous gen M1 chip, has got 16 GPU cores, which is 2 times faster than the M1. Now has even got a media engine with ProRes, also a display engine which has a support for up to 2 displays and a lot more in the M1 Pro. Well, and then when I was thinking the new MacBook Pros are going to be coming, that's when the M1 Max came. The M1 Max has a similar structure with 64 GB memory and 3.5 3 times the transistors of M1. 400 gigs per uh, second memory bandwidth, same CPU cores but 32 GPU cores, which is 4 times faster than the M1. It has got one more ProRes video encoder than the M1 Pro as well. I support for 4 external displays. And now after they announced the two new chips, the M1 Pro and the M1 Max, came the MacBook Pros. This time they have introduced a new MacBook size which is the 14 inch. And now uh, I'm very happy that most of the rumors I heard were true. But one rumor I heard which I didn't want to be true was the notch. But sadly it has been true. But thankfully the UI has been adjusted to it whereas it doesn't interrupt or disrupt our uh, viewing of the display at all. The menu bar covers the notch due to which there's no disturbance in the workflow at all. Thanks Apple. The fans are now way more efficient because of the advanced thermal and the efficiency of the Apple Silicon. Now the touch bar has been replaced by physical function row keys. And finally after a very long time and we have all been requesting this to Apple, the ports. When they announced this, I was literally so damn happy. The ports which came back were HDMI port, SD card slot, and the MagSafe. The three ports which I was very, very willing to come back, came back. And as along with these, there is also three Thunderbolt 4 ports, which you can use to either charge or connect to other external displays. The new display in the MacBook Pros are liquid Retina XDR displays with mini LEDs and the pixel count in both the Mac Pros, MacBook Pros have increased significantly. And wait for it, wait for it. The MacBook Pros now have ProMotion, which is nothing but the variable refresh rate between, I guess, 10 Hertz to 120 Hertz, which is basically nothing but the MacBook Pros have now 120 Hertz. I really think that Apple had a new team this time who were collecting all the requirements needed by the customers and implemented them all in the new computers. And I'm really happy to Apple. 
Thank you once again. Usually the cameras in the MacBooks were only 720p, but now they have bumped it up to 1080, which is why that's a notch, but I still don't understand why is there no face ID in there, because this is the same size of the notch in an iPhone. Anyways, maybe in the future they're gonna add a face ID, I'm really not sure. Even the sound system in the MacBooks now include a six speaker system, which has got two tweeters, which are twice as large as the before MacBook Pro, and then two subwoofers, which have a huge diaphragm than before. And these speakers are available both the 14 inch and the 16 inch, which also includes spatial audio. The performance has been increased by two times from the previous Core i9 models, five times performance in machine learning in the 16 inch. The performance just seems to be outstanding. The battery life of the 14 inch is 17 hours, which is uh, seven hours extra than before. And the 16 inch has 21 hours of video playback. And also, shockingly, the charging brick is still in the box. And one thing that Apple didn't announce in the stage was the maximum storage of uh, these new MacBook Pros is 8 TB and not 2 TB. And also the maximum RAM for the M1 Max is 64 GB and the maximum RAM for the M1 Pro is 32 GB. So yeah. So finally, with all these specs, if you still didn't guess that these were gonna be costly, I'm very sorry, they are damn costly. The 14 inch starts at rupees in India, I, uh, I'm gonna be taking the prices of these MacBooks in India, in rupees. So the 14 inch starts at rupees 1,94,900 and goes all the way up to rupees 5,79,900. The 16 inch starts at rupees 2,39,900 and goes up to 5,89,900. Uh, and the prices of the Apple Watch 3 are 18,500 rupees. And the HomePod Mini still starts at rupees 9,900 for all the new color variants as well. I feel like Apple has really made sure that these MacBook Pros really give the pro feel for all the pro people out there. And hence the price is so high. And so is this called the supercharged MacBook Pros. Very happy though that most of the rumors were true, except for the notch, which is also not a problem now, I guess. Anyways, if you found this video interesting, please don't forget to give it a like. If I missed anything, please do comment it down and let me know. And feel free to share this with your friends and family. If you don't want to miss any of our new videos, then don't forget to turn on the post notifications after subscribing. See you all next time. Bye.